Hi, my name is Yona. I'm the after school leader at Field Teen Center, and today I'm going to talk about Apple Skin to Core by Eric Gansworth, a memoir told in verse. I read it as an ebook on the Libby app. Eric Gansworth is an Onondaga man who grew up among the Tuscarora, so all Native Americans, two different tribes. And it's an interesting story about what it means to be an outsider in the United States, but also an outsider within a group that kind of you belong to. And the title is already a really good indication of where he stands among the Tuscarora and maybe among his family and how he's treated. Apple is a slur, meaning he's red on the outside and white on the inside, like he's not a real Indian. And that comes up a lot throughout the various poems and in the ways that people treat him. He's a kid who really liked Batman and wanted to write. And these are not things that the people around him were necessarily interested in. So I do think that teens who check this book out will relate to feeling like the weirdo in the group or being the nerd of the group. Uh, and then later passages, the author talks about what it was like when he was leaving the res and kind of setting out on his own and growing up in some ways that are very bittersweet and I think are real for almost every young person. As you're growing up, you have to decide, you know, how much do you fit in with your family and where do you see your future once you become an adult? That said, although this book is marketed as young adult, I think that most teenagers who find this book would feel more like it's historical fiction than anything that they could relate to personally. The author talks a lot about the Beatles and even the structure of the book and a lot of the titles are inspired by Beatles albums, which is really cool, but might not be the most relevant. Um, so I think that folks who are interested in learning about the history and are curious would enjoy this book. I don't know how relatable I think it is for the average teenager. As an adult, I had trouble focusing and following the flow of some of these poems because they're very information dense, uh, but I did learn a lot. So as I said at the beginning, uh, both of Gansworth's sets of grandparents spent at least some time in boarding schools that the US government set up to forcibly strip Native Americans of their cultures, re-educate them, force them to speak English, take away their language. Uh, and the book grapples with what happens to communities in the aftermath and what happens when there are only a few surviving members who remember the language or pieces of the language. And I think that's really important. And because Gansworth is talking about his own experiences and using very beautiful language to do it, I think it's really meaningful and, and more interesting than reading about it in a textbook. And then we also get glimpses of what his life was like, you know, from the kinds of people he was hanging out with and what they would do as they were running up and down Dog Street and, you know, the ways he would struggle to find food and what kinds of food might be on the table that I think also paint a really strong picture. So if you decide to check this book out, we would love to hear from you about what you think. Uh, you can reach out to us on Instagram or through email. And thanks for watching.